and we're literally running back to the <laughs> ship. I'm comfortable with this in airports, but not so much being last second to a cruise ship. Yep. Day seven aboard the MSC Magnifica on this round the world cruise. We just finished up the Caribbean portion of the trip, but today we're in South America. This morning we have arrived in our 85th country of Colombia to the port of Santa Marta. It's a town that we know absolutely nothing about, but it looked beautiful this morning as we were pulling in. The town is nestled between the mountains and the sea, and it looks absolutely beautiful. in Colombia and today we're on a tour called the highlights of Santa Marta so hopefully we'll be learning some fun history facts located here in Santa Marta. It's actually been made a cathedral by the Catholic Church and the Colombians call this church the mother church of all the churches in Colombia. historical tour of the town is officially over and we are back on the ship. However, our original plan was to stay out in the town and do some exploring on our own after the tour. So we were getting off the bus and then our tour guide was like, wait, you can't go out on your own with all of those cameras by yourself. And we were like, oh. So we came back to the ship, we dropped our backpacks which had like all of our other electronics in them and we're going to head out with just this one camera. Anytime a local cautions us in a city, we try to take that very seriously. But with that said, like for the last three years we've been walking around with a huge camera and pretty much have like tourist target written across the front of us and nothing bad has happened to us yet. And our tour this morning was so fast so we need to go out there and have some more time. Yeah, we wanna like explore um, the more local side of the city and also try to find some local food to eat. You see one of the foods that we wanna try? Oh, that's Sticky. Gracias. <laughs> He was so nice and understanding with my terrible Spanish <laughs> and my terrible counting. 2,000 Colombian, we've not been here long enough, I don't even know what this is called, pesos. We were talking to a few locals this morning asking them what we should eat while we were here and this was one of the things that they recommended that I was most excited about. It's basically a popcorn ball and from what I understand this is all like talking broken Spanish and English to one person. There's like they turn sugar cane juice into syrup and that's what they use to connect all of the popcorn together and it looks like bacon chunks. I, I think it could just be like sweet sugar cane and then in the middle maybe there's coconut is what I thought I understood. Oh gosh, it's so sticky. I like, can't, it's hard. To... I think it must be like, yeah, some kind of like sugar cane jelly. It basically tastes like a really sweet popcorn ball. It's delicious. I, I didn't find any coconut. See? Right too? Okay. Then out of. So there, <laughs> there was a guy like, standing behind the camera the whole time that we were filming and I think he just really wanted my popcorn ball. And I gave him the rest of it and he seemed really happy. So, <laughs> we just got into this next bakery where we were about to buy whatever we were gonna eat next. 
And here's how like this relationship usually works when we're on the road. <laughs> not like for any reason, not because I don't trust care, but like for the most part, I usually always carry the money. I usually pay for the stuff. And... <laughs> And this is like the one time I was doing the interaction with the money. So and there's this big one like, hand, and he had like all this cash, and he was trying to like give me change, and I was just like, okay, this is good. This is too many. I think he gave 18 me that. Gary was like, oh, you're giving me way too much. Click, click, click. So anyway, pay like ten dollars for that popcorn. I actually I don't popcorn ball that you gave away. <laughs> it's all good. I'm sure that guy walked away extremely happy for our generosity. Yeah, <laughs> they needed it more than we did. <laughs> okay, we're gonna edit that. I'm not paying for anything anymore. <laughs> it's too much pressure. Okay, we're at a bakery now and we're trying this cute little basket <laughs> of baked goods. One of our good friends, Lena from The Budgeteers, lives in Columbia, so naturally we asked her what we needed to eat while we were here. This is pan de bono and there's also pan de yuca. They're both cheese bread. One's made with yuca flour and one is made with cassava pasta. Mmm! Oh, it's really nice. Oh, it's really good. You can't like find the cheese in there, like it's not stringy. It's mm -hmm. like baked into the flavor. Mm -hmm. This one was reheated in the microwave, but I can only imagine how good it would be if it was actually fresh. Ooh, you can see the cheese in that one. Mm -hmm. Should have had the camera in slow-mo. I'm trying mm -hmm. to pull it really slowly. <laughs> Oh, that one's even better. It is better. It's denser. Mm -hmm. My favorite piece of bread I've ever had. I'm a fan of Colombian cheese bread. Let's go. Thank you. Ah, I'm trying my first Colombian coffee in Colombia. I am so excited. It's like burning my hand right now. It's such a cool coffee culture here. So we've only been walking on this street for a few minutes. We've already passed two people who are just pushing these carts of these large thermoses of coffee. And it was only 300 Colombian pesos. Oh yeah. They've added some sweetener to it, but it's so strong, which is the only way to drink coffee in my opinion. And it's just crazy that this casually came out of a thermos on a cart that's being pushed down this side road. They were so awesome. They spoke a little bit of English. We speak a little bit of Spanish, so we talked for a very long time. We think we got their YouTube channel. I, don't, I just love those guys. They were just walking down the street, playing music in like the best mood ever. They were so talented. Okay, the cruise ship like is pulling out of port in 40 minutes, but we still have one more food that we really want to find. Like the one that everybody told us that we had to try. Where to go? Bye. We have to hurry, you are gonna miss the cruise. Okay, we found it, but we had to just get it to go. And we're literally running back to the ship. I'm comfortable with this in Air Force, but not so much being last second to a cruise ship. Yep. This better be worth it. <laughs> the light in the city is absolutely beautiful right now. I'm so sad we have to leave. Before we got here, I was doing some research about this city on the internet, and it was acting like there was nothing to see. This is just like a jumping off point for other tourists, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's awesome. Come to San There's a beach. Food's really good. It's super cheap. There's literally an Instagram spot on every corner. Ah, so bright. Okay, thanks. Nice. We made it! If the amount of people on this bus, in addition to us, is any indication of how many people were left in Santa Marta, we're the last. <gasps> we were the last. Oh. So we made it back just in time to watch the sunset, and we are now pulling away from the port. Whew, that was a close one, but hopefully this is worth it. Literally, we haven't even opened the box yet. I have no idea what to expect. Whoa. So we had to Google what it was. Patacon is double fried green plantain. We ordered this one with guacamole. Mmm. That was so good. It's kind of like a tostada, like a really thick tortilla with toppings on top. So good. I am loving Colombia. This is the perfect end to our first day here. But it's not our last day. And since we're on a cruise, we're washing it down with Prosecco. See you tomorrow! Today is 
It's day eight, and this morning we woke up in Cartagena. Cartagena is a city we have always wanted to go to, and today we're exploring the old town, which is going to be beautiful, and we're drinking some coffee, Colombian coffee. It's going to be an awesome day. So there are a ton of vendors walking around trying to sell every souvenir imaginable to you. Pretty much just like there is in any big city. But the reason that I mention it is because I thought our tour guide handled it better than I've ever seen it handled. While we were on the bus, she told us things that we should buy and some things that we shouldn't buy, like fake Cuban cigars and fake silver. Then she told us how much everything would cost. And she said, I'm telling you all this now while we're on the bus, but if we get out on the street and you ask me if you should buy something, I'm gonna shake my head and I'm gonna say yes. You know why? because you're leaving this afternoon and I have to live here for the rest of my life and see these people every single day. And I just thought that was the best way I'd ever seen that handle because you get out on the street and then you feel like you can trust your tour guide when somebody's coming up trying to sell you something. But yeah, it puts them in a super awkward situation and I totally understand it. So he poured us the first one and he was being really vague and he said, everybody smell it. So we all took a sniff and nobody really said anything and then everybody took a sip and I wish we would have been recording everyone's face because everybody was going. It was like super strong and bitter and just not that good and I got really worried that like maybe I don't like Colombian coffee and then they came around with the second one and it was just a really light color and it smelled sweet and fruity and citrusy and I took a sip and thankfully it was the best sip of coffee I've ever had. So we learned that these are bad beans and these are good coffee beans. Apparently the Colombians usually end up drinking this coffee. This is what's in the grocery stores here. And then they export all of their really nice coffees, which is kind of sad. And that's why they add sugar to all of their coffee here to mask the bad beans. So the coffee we had on the street yesterday was probably from this and that's why it had sugar. But what's funny is I was like, oh, this is so good. Oh, it's good. Shows how much I know. This has been so much fun. I'm gonna be sprinting through the streets in front of Haney the rest of the day. So we had to leave the city, but we are still getting to have one of the coolest Colombian experiences. We are about to get to hang out with a celebrity chef from Colombia in the kitchen of the ship, and he's gonna be teaching me how to make ceviche. This afternoon, we have the opportunity to hang out with celebrity chef Jorge. You feel nervous chopping in front of the yeah. chef? That's good, that's good, perfect. Great. Okay. That's fine. So we're gonna yeah. put that in there. So I'd like to put it in the middle. Yeah. It's perfect. Some more. Nice. We're gonna leave a little bit of mix up here again. Half? Half. That's fine. I'm learning. And then <laughs> some cilantro. You know, like other people don't put on here. It's good. Mm. It is the best ceviche I've ever had. This is what we're going to eat tonight. So the reason that Carrie got to spend the afternoon cooking with a celebrity chef is because MSC has actually invited him on board to make sure everybody on this ship gets a local Colombian meal. So he like came up with the entire menu that we're having here in the dining room. This is 
with Jorge. For our starter, we're having the ceviche, the one that Kara cooked, except not for the whole ship, but like the same thing. And then for the main course, we are having a white fish with bright plantain puree with smoked aubergine and deep fried cheese. And last but not least, for dessert, we are having a coffee cream with biscuits and pistachio ice cream. And sadly, this is going to end our time in Colombia. We were only here for two short days, and we know that this is definitely not long enough in this country. This is a country that's been on our bucket list for a long time. We've been really looking forward to coming here, and all this did for us was solidify that we have to come back and spend more time here. But with that said, two days in Colombia is better than no days in Colombia. The good thing about a cruise is that where one adventure ends, another one begins, and so tomorrow we are starting our transit through the Panama Canal. And we can't wait to spend our first day in Colombia. Ah! What? Just a door. Give you a second chance so you can learn from your mistakes. <laughs> I don't want a second chance. I don't deserve this. Does this make you cringe? Cringe? What is cringe? Cringe? Like, is it bothering you how bad no. I am? Oh. You're so cringe. encouraging. Just be careful with your fingers. Yeah. If Kara talking about the coffee experience was a bit shaky, it's because I'd already had three cups. I literally like feel my hand shaking as I was trying to hold the camera still. I hold my caffeine better than Nate does. Just have more practice. <laughs>